Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope everything is good in your world and everything is going well for you. It is me, Callie Stormdoll, and I'm back with some tea involving our girls Britney Spears and Cardi B. No, they're not working on a new collab. No, it's not a deluxe album coming out, but rather toy news. Yes, if it's over here with Callie, you know it has to do with merchandise sales and what's really going on behind the scenes well let's get into it now you know that these two girls were recently announcing that they were going to come out with dolls the cardi b doll was very popular the britney steer dolls was going to be more nostalgic in theme and a lot of people were looking forward to them but just as many got disappointed when we found out these dolls were no longer available cardi b was announced last year that the doll would not go into production so as far as we know, her doll was never me. This year, it was announced by NECA that the Britney Spears doll would not be released, saying that she will not be shipped. Now, I have a feeling that the Britney Spears dolls were made, they just were never shipped. If you notice the verbiage that's going on with the Cardi B, they said it was never sent into production. So the pre-sales with the Cardi B doll, they already knew it was never going to happen, even as they took funds. Now, if we go into the Britney Spears dolls, it seems that they had even given people dates that they were going to get their dolls. So what happened? Well, you know, your girl Callie put on her investigation glasses and I did some research, honey. Yes. I went to those lower details, went through my emails, archives, and went snooping around. And I came up with three possible theories on why we will not be getting these dolls, at least no time soon. Theory one, low sales. Both of these dolls were put online as pre-orders way before even the announcement went public. There were links found by fans linking them to pre-orders to get these dolls. Now, and the thing with the Cardi B doll is that it was advertised by this new company, Women Are, or We Are Women, con trying to promote celebrities turning into dolls and maybe giving the funds to charity. At least that's what was advertised. What actually happened? Well, the doll got canceled. As far as Britney Spears go, I don't know if anything about a partnership or anything like that was mentioned, but... It was mentioned that NECA was doing a slew of these Britney Spears loot crates. If you're a fan, you get t-shirts, mugs, things like that. But it's so many of them and they're always being pushed. I always see these loot crates advertised with Britney Spears all over the place. I'm not really sure how well they're selling, but with the doll being announced, I'm sure it went up in rank as some people got a free subscription to a Britney Spears loot crate once you purchase or pre-order this upcoming nostalgic doll. So theory one is that these dolls did not produ produce enough in pre-orders and they simply did away with them. Even putting out 500 of the Britney Spears NECA dolls was not worth it to them. So they simply did away with her. Cardi B maybe got under 10K in sales. So they figure what's the point of mass producing a doll that may end up in a lawsuit as some people know behind the scenes lol omg was coming for that neck but let's move on to the next theory celebrity backlash once it was announced that cardi b was coming out with her doll of course a lot of people in the hip-hop community grew angry as they said that Nicki minaj or even lil kim deserved a doll way before cardi b that was the negative celebrity backlash on that with Britney Spears, it became backlash because why are they making the first doll, oops, I did it again. Some people figured what they should have done is done a collective package of three different Britney looks in a deluxe case and sold it as a collector's piece. Featuring, oops, I did it again, baby one more time, and even toxic, as those are some of Britney Spears' most iconic looks. A lot of fans wonder why didn't they do that? And it gained backlash as other companies have authored other doll companies more. Even if we look at the most recent Laverne Cox doll. Laverne Cox says she was brought into meetings and actually told about what her doll will be wearing. Was Britney Spears informed at all? Who knows? But with her fans, we know that she may have got some backlash. The third theory, and not the most substantial, but 
it's an idea is that NECA dropped them. Now, most toy companies love celebrity endorsements and they actually crave them. But some companies, when it comes to celebrity endorsements, they don't want the hassle. NECA may have dropped Cardi B for a multitude of reasons. You can pick one. They may have dropped Britney because at that time, the case of her, well, parents was up in air. So both of these women were getting bad press at a time that these dolls were being pushed to the public. So who's really to blame? Is it the toy company? Is it the ladies? Or is it the fans? Who knows, but all in all, these dolls were canceled. But what happened after the cancellations? Now this part of the video is what I personally went through and this is no longer a theory. When I received my email stating that the Cardi B doll would no longer be sold, I immediately went in and requested a full refund. My refund came from NECA Toys. That's how I made the first association with Cardi B was working in the NECA brand. It was an easy transaction. It was quick. This year, when I heard about the Britney Spears doll being canceled, I immediately went in to get my full refund. This time, I went through NECA. I went through them, I contacted them, I said I want to do a full cancellation. They sent me an email saying that we'll offer you a credit of a Britney Spears loot crate. I said I don't want the loot crate, I just want the full refund. NECA sends me two emails back to back saying due to um, high volume in emails, we can no longer respond to you or it's going to be a longer time before we get back to you. Now I could have waited it out, but I know that it's a waiting game. So I decided to go into PayPal. It's always good to back up your purchases. If it's not an in-person purchase and it's digitally, PayPal or some of these third party walls actually help protect you because they'll fight for you just as well as your bank would. So I went through PayPal and I let them know that I have issued a full refund from NECA Toys. It's been some type of stalemate and nothing is moving. So as of this week, PayPal has stepped into the room and requested a full refund. Yes, the doll was only $40. Is that really what I'm fighting for? Absolutely not. I'm fighting for the veil to be revealed. A part of me believes that the pre-orders of Britney Spears doll was put up to advertise the loot crates that aren't moving, the t-shirts, the mugs, the pins. No one's buying it. A part of me believe it was an eluder. Why? When I went into my PayPal, I saw that I was already signed up for a subscription. I said a subscription? Yes. NECA had already enrolled my account that I would continuously get these monthly Britney loot crates and it had the auto renew on. I turned the auto renew off and requested a full refund. Now I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's due to low sales, but I'm just saying stay aware. What is really going on? Sometimes I think it's a cash grab. Do I really know what's going on? Now that's why I made this video. If you guys have any thoughts on theories, what actually went on, or you have a personal experience, let me know. Let us all know by leaving it in the comment section below because this is something I'm still going on with now. I have yet to hear back from NECA. PayPal is on the case. But we wanna know what's up with all these cancellations, these big names attached to these dolls, and then the cases are dropped. Are these celebrities getting a payout behind the scenes that we as the public don't know about just to pull the veil over our eyes? Hmm, I don't know, but it's always good to think about it. I'll see you guys on the next one. And remember, share this video, like, and join the Storm family. Over here, we always think critically about the things we buy. I'll see you on the next one.